And with the opening of ceremony of the Incheon Asian Games just one week away, South Korea's government issued a stern reminder to its citizens that they're banned from carrying the North Korean flag. I-24 News reporter Danny Swibel has the story. The inauguration ceremony for the South Korean team ahead of the 17th annual Asian Games took place with lights and spectacle, with the host nation's flag hoisted with pride. But despite being a vibrant democracy, South Korean residents are not allowed to possess or display the flag of another participating nation, that of North Korea. Our stance is that it is only appropriate for North Korean flags to be hoisted in official Asian Games venues such as the stadium and the athlete's village. But South Koreans are not allowed to have or bring the North Korean national flag into the stadium. North and South Korea remain technically at war after their 1950 to 1953 conflict ended in a truce, not an official peace treaty. The North's participation in Incheon was in doubt only a few months ago after discussions with the South about the details of its delegation broke down. This tension has left most residents of the South mixed. It can be a bit strange to see North Korean national flags here. However, through the Asian Games, all Asian people can play sports together, and I think it will lead to better relations between South and North Korea. The North Korean government has always been talking about unification, but had done bad things behind our back. I think that the North Korean national flag should never be hoisted. As of now, North Korea is sending a 273-member delegation of athletes and officials to Incheon with the hope that sporting events can bridge cultures. But with deep-seated animosity between the North and the South, and a history of scuffles reported in past sporting events like the Olympics and the World Cup. It seems that decades of divide will remain and cast a shadow on the Korean Peninsula.